Rock from the world famous Rock Steady Crew, and you're watching Kids in the Way. We're about to take you into the world of b-boying, otherwise known as breakdance. Check it out. It's all about skills. 
that's one aspect that's getting uh, larger and larger, actually, is the B-girl population. Um, my name is Asia One. I've been B-girl for about two and a half years. It's, you know, it's all genders, all races, all class, all creeds. It doesn't really matter. But like, if you go out and you bust and you just rip, you know, everybody up, people will not, no longer will their eyebrows be raised. You'll be, like, accepted. And that's the beauty of it is, is that it really is, you know, you really speak with your art form. Now! I mean, people have, people have like, a misunderstanding about what hip-hop is, you know. Hip-hop was four main elements. It can, it, it, there's other elements that exist, there's other things that come alongside, but four main elements were b-boying, emceeing, which is rapping, DJing, which is mixing and scratching, and graffiti art. You know, me being, you know, being white and being involved too, it's like, you know, that you gotta be black or Latino to be involved. And it's true that, you know, the blacks and Latinos in New York were the, were the, the, the majority. They're the ones that, that, you know, brought this, this culture about. But since it's, since it's incarnation, you know, it's, it's encompassed every nationality in the world. Hip hop is like a culture that you can adopt. I mean, it's, it's, it, was, it was like developed in the streets. And, you know, it's, it's there for, for anyone who's, like, feeling that way, who, who doesn't have something to believe in. You know, hip-hop is something you can believe in, because it's all about believing in yourself. It's just that the media is coming around now, and the media is rediscovering it, so it definitely never went anywhere.